Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about how to make a good sounding multiple ounce roll or what I often call a buzz roll. Um, and I like to use the acronym PLAD, uh, P-L-A-D. So we're going to talk about pinch, low, arms, and drop. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we've already established the fulcrum. Um, so we're going to, but we're going to pinch that fulcrum just a little bit, get a little bit of pressure there between the thumb and the pointer finger um, on both hands. We're going to think about keeping the stroke low. All right, um, we're going to use our arms instead of our wrist, and we're going to drop our back three fingers just barely off the stick. So instead of way, and I'm not talking way out here, just barely off the stick so they're not touching. So again, pinch, low, gonna keep the stroke low, um, arms, and drop. I wanna go over why each thing is important. So if I don't pinch hard enough, the stick's gonna bounce up, I'm gonna get a rebound stroke. By pinching, I keep the stick from bouncing, so from rebounding up. Um, I wanna keep it low, because when we do a buzz roll, we don't wanna hear, we don't wanna hear the actual stroke as they hit the drum. Um, so we want it to sustain buzz sound. So we don't want to come from a high um, height because that'll add more impact to this to this sound of the, the buzz. Um, so we got the pinch, we got the low. We want to use our arms because we're not since we're not coming from a high height. Um, we want to add some weight to the stick so it'll buzz longer. So we're going to use pinch, low, arm. Watch my arm moving here. And I drop those fingers off. Listen to the difference if I don't take my fingers off. So. Fingers on, fingers off, fingers on, fingers off. Just lets that stick buzz a little bit more. So you can see I'm keeping it low, I'm using my arms, I've got a good pinch going and I've dropped my fingers. Pinch, low, arms, drop. 